Begin with your garment completed. If buttons extend far down the front placket, unbutton some of the buttons so we can add the tie effect. Identify where the tie will be placed. Add internal lines to the front body drawing diagonally from hem to the center front. If the shirt has a separate placket, copy the internal lines to the placket, confirming they match the position of the front pieces. Lower the grid to 0.5 on the pattern pieces where the internal lines were added. Select the internal lines and add 60% shrink. Dress and review the positioning. Move internal line placement and adjust shrink values to create desired effect. To finish the look, stitch the bottom line on the wearer's right to the top line on the wearer's left. Use your styling tools to move the tails in place to better identify the stitching locations. Use focus styling tools to reposition the tails as needed. For further refinement, we can add a separate pattern piece over the center of the internal lines for a more pronounced tie. Insert rectangle to create a small square. Arrange the piece. Lower the grid size to 0.5. Stitch the new piece to the internal lines on the highest layer front pattern that is not the placket. Leave the stitch length equal to the internal line. Set the layer to be the highest for the front body. Dress the pattern. Unlock pattern pieces if locked and allow the new pattern piece to interact with the garment. And that is how we can create a tied hem effect in 3D.